Margarita, born to Prince Ferdinand of Savoy, Duke of Genoa, and Princess Elizabeth of Saxony, experienced her father's passing in 1855. Following this, her mother entered a morganatic marriage with Major Nicholas Bernou, Marchese di Iropalo. Under the tutelage of Countess Clelia Monticelli di Castelrosso and her Austrian governess Rosa Arbessa, Margarita received an education notably more advanced than typical for princesses of her time. Her intellectual curiosity was remarked upon. Described as sensitive, proud, and possessing a strong will without harshness, she also had a knack for charm when she desired. Although she was tall and elegant with blonde hair, she wasn't considered conventionally beautiful. Initially considered as a match for Prince Charles of Romania, in 1867, the president of the Royal Council, L.F. Minabrea, advocated for her union with her cousin, the heir to the Italian throne. As Queen Consort of Italy, Margareta played an active role in supporting charitable causes and representing the monarchy with grace and dignity. Her presence in Italian society was marked by involvement in cultural and social activities, earning her admiration and respect from the Italian people. Following the death of her husband in 1900, Margareta continued her philanthropic endeavors, though her relationship with her son, Victor Emmanuel III, was occasionally strained. Despite these challenges, she remained a figure of significance in Italian society until her death in 1926, leaving behind a legacy of compassion, elegance, and dedication to her country that resonated throughout the annals of Italian history. The tiara showcases elegant looping knots intersected by a string of pearls. This design motif is echoed in another tiara owned by a different branch of the family, known as the Oster Knots and Stars Tiara. Incorporating pearls into the tiara rendered it a perfect diadem for Queen Margareta, who was renowned as the Queen of Pearls due to her remarkable collection of pearl jewellery. Crafted for her in 1883 by Musi, the same prestigious firm responsible for her magnificent convertible diamond and pearl tiara, this piece seamlessly complemented Margareta's ensemble. The accompanying portrait provides a glimpse of the tiara adorned with some of Margareta's exquisite pearls, as well as paired with diamond and emerald jewels, such as the family's remarkable diamond and emerald necklace and the Stuart emerald brooch. The royal family departed for exile in June 1946, leaving behind a collection of jewels at the Bank of Italy, accompanied by a note stating for those rightfully entitled. In a formal portrait circa 1888, Queen Margareta of Italy is adorned with her diamond floral tiara, crafted by Malerio. Presently, this exquisite tiara is housed in Tokyo as a prized possession of the Albion Art Institute. This tiara, crafted by Musi in 1904, was specially commissioned to celebrate the birth of her grandson. It features jewels sourced from Queen Margareta's renowned collection, famously called the Pearl Queen. With its versatile design, it can be styled in at least eight distinct configurations.
The tiara crafted by Musi in 1869 was presented by her husband, King Umberto I, to commemorate the birth of their son, King Victor Emmanuel III. It doubles as a bracelet for versatile wear. Originally owned by Queen Maria Theresa of Sardinia, a member of the Tuscan branch of the Habsburg family, who passed away in 1855, this tiara was then passed to her son, Ferdinand, the Duke of Genoa. Unfortunately, he died shortly after his mother. His wife, Princess Elizabeth of Saxony, continued to wear the tiara and eventually passed it down to their daughter, Margareta of Savoy. The tiara gained notable attention in recent years when worn by Clotilde Caro and Emanuele Filiberto at their wedding. Clotilde accessorized the tiara with coordinating earrings from the Perore, which she had also worn at the Monegasque princely wedding in 2011. This occasion showcased the versatility of the Perore, as the different shaped drops can be interchanged to create various looks. The Perore found its place in the Savoy jewellery collection through a marriage settlement. In 1841, King Charles Albert of Sardinia obtained the set from the Viennese jeweller Delzotto as part of the marriage settlement between Archduchess Maria Adelaide of Austria, later Queen Adelaide, and his son, the Duke of Savoy, later King Victor Emmanuel II. There exists no documented portrait of Queen Adelaide adorned in the parole. Instead, she presented it as a gift to her daughter-in-law, Margareta of Savoy, upon her marriage to Prince Umberto, later known as Umberto I of Italy. Margareta possessed a discerning taste for jewellery and skillfully redesigned several pieces, upon the marriage of Margareta's son, Victor Emmanuel, who would later become Victor Emmanuel III of Italy, to Elena of Montenegro, the Queen bestowed upon her either the entirety or certain components of the parole. Elements from the deconstructed tiara were utilized to craft a completely new tiara for Elena. The location of both the Devant de Corsage and the earrings remains uncertain, although it is likely they were also sold. The corset adornments featured two square-cut emeralds set in diamonds, dangling from each other in a brooch style. Similarly, the earrings followed the same design as the rest of the parole, showcasing a square-cut emerald with a sizable emerald in a diamond setting hanging from it. The necklace comprised five square-cut emeralds encased in a diamond frame, linked by three tiers of pearls. Its focal point was a sizable rectangular emerald, also set in diamonds, weighing 47.7 carats. Hanging from it was a smaller emerald pendant, supporting a large pear-shaped emerald. This central three-part piece could be detached and worn as a brooch separately. The necklace remained in the family's possession until 1985, when most of it was auctioned off. The centerpiece was sold separately as a brooch. Only three pieces of the emerald parole remain with the family, one of which is a pendant from the necklace, now owned by Marina, Princess of Naples, consort of Vittorio Emanuele of Savoy, claimant to the former Italian throne. Marina had the pendant reset in a choker and is occasionally seen wearing it in photographs.